the name of God appears in this scroll as well as in other scrolls in ancient Hebrew letters. And the reasoning behind it is most likely due to the fact that they wanted to use the more holy script in order to write God's name. And anyone who would have read the scroll would have likely recognized that this is God's name. For over 70 years, scholars failed to crack one of the last unread Dead Sea Scrolls. In 2025, GPT-5 solved it in minutes. The text it revealed, so stunning that historians fell silent. Hidden among the sandstone cliffs of Qumran, these ancient manuscripts survived 2,000 years of history. Most were deciphered decades ago, but one mysterious coded text resisted all human attempts to understand it. Until now, a lost voice from 2,000 years ago, now decoded not by humans, but by a machine. What it revealed wasn't just ancient wisdom. It potentially names a figure who has remained anonymous for millennia. Imagine it, a code written by a desert sect, sealed in a cave for two millennia, broken not by a scholar in Jerusalem, not by an Oxford professor, but by a silicon brain. What does that say about the past? And what does it mean for us today? This breakthrough didn't just solve an ancient puzzle. It opened a door between worlds. And the academic silence that followed speaks volumes about what was found. The question isn't just what GPT-5 discovered in those cryptic symbols. It's why leading historians needed time to process it before speaking publicly. The Breakthrough The breakthrough happened in early 2025. Researchers fed GPT-5 high-resolution images of scroll fragments written in strange symbols instead of normal Hebrew letters. Within minutes, the AI noticed patterns no human had pieced together. It was astonishing to watch, said one witness to the experiment. The model recognized substitution patterns and tested different letter mappings simultaneously until recognizable Hebrew words emerged. Unlike previous attempts that took years of painstaking work, GPT-5 cracked the cipher key through rapid pattern recognition. The symbols, some borrowed from archaic Paleo-Hebrew, others apparently invented, finally revealed their secrets. What emerged wasn't just random text. It was a sectarian instruction document, similar to the community rule and Damascus document found at Qumran. But this one contains something extraordinary. For decades, Dead Sea Scrolls scholars have wondered about the identity of a figure called the Teacher of Righteousness, the apparent leader of the Qumran community. This decoded text might finally name him directly. Even more intriguing, the AI flagged unusual numeric patterns in the decoded Hebrew. This suggests the text might be double encoded, a cipher within a cipher that hid its most sensitive secrets. The implications are staggering. If an AI could uncover a name lost for centuries, what else remains hidden in these ancient scrolls? What other voices from the past are waiting to be heard? And how might this reshape our understanding of Judaism and early Christianity's roots? And before we reveal what the AI found, hit subscribe. You won't want to miss what comes next. New Ripples and Unsettling Implications This wasn't just about feeding text into a computer. GPT-5 worked with revolutionary hyperspectral imaging that revealed ink traces invisible to the human eye. The AI mapped each tiny parchment fiber's contour creating a digital jigsaw puzzle of fragments too damaged for scholars to piece together. What looked like blank space to humans glowed with chemical traces to the machine. The fragments were in hopeless condition, explains Dr. Eshbal Ratson of the University of Haifa, who previously spent a year decoding a different scroll. GPT-5 assembled them in minutes, finding connections we couldn't see. But the implications stretch far beyond biblical studies the same techniques could revolutionize how we approach other ancient mysteries. Easter Island's Rongorongo script has baffled linguists for centuries. The Indus Valley symbols remain undeciphered after 4,000 years. Even some Egyptian hieroglyphic texts resist translation. All of them could soon yield to silicon intelligence. More unsettling? The mathematical approach GPT-5 used to break this ancient code shares principles with modern cryptography. Security experts are now asking if an AI can crack a 2,000-year-old cipher. What about our digital secrets? But just wait, because the decoded words might shift how we read the Bible itself. 
So, how does an AI even see what's invisible to us? Think of it like night vision goggles for ink. Humans see faded parchment. The AI sees chemical traces glowing like neon signs. That's how it finds letters we thought were lost forever. The discovery doesn't just illuminate the past. It raises profound questions about who controls ancient knowledge in our AI-powered future. The content of the cipher. So, what exactly did GPT-5 uncover in this ancient coded text? Preliminary reports indicate the scroll contains sectarian laws and instructions addressed to the Qumran community. The writing style closely matches other major Dead Sea Scrolls, like the Community Rule and Damascus Document, but with one crucial difference. This text appears to name a figure directly, possibly the mysterious Teacher of Righteousness, who appears anonymously in other scrolls. For decades, scholars have debated who led the Dead Sea Scroll community. Was it a renegade priest from Jerusalem? A member of the Zadokite priestly family? Or someone connected to the Maccabean revolt. If this AI decoded text contains a specific name, it could finally link the isolated Qumran sect to mainstream Jewish history of the Second Temple period. The decoded scroll may also clarify the community's relationship with the Jerusalem Temple. Did they see themselves as opponents calling the priests wicked? Or was their stance more nuanced? This is why historians went quiet. Not because it's mere speculation, but because this AI revealed words that could rewrite religious history, words that had remained hidden for two millennia, suddenly appeared on researchers' screens. The academic silence doesn't signal disbelief. It reflects the enormous weight of verification needed before such a discovery enters the scholarly record. Houston, we have a problem. I don't think this is Florida. Luckily, I didn't need NASA. I needed a legal army. It turns out there's an injury firm called Morgan & Morgan, America's largest injury law firm, with over 1,000 attorneys and more than 100 offices nationwide. I tried calling one of those local lawyers with cheesy jingles. I was on hold longer than a Mars launch delay. Meanwhile, Morgan & Morgan helped a client in Florida get $12 million after the insurance company only offered $350,000. Morgan & Morgan only gets paid if they win your case. No upfront fees. You can file a claim right from your couch or from the jungle. Here's how easy it is. You can just click the link in the description or scan the QR code on screen. If you're ever injured, you can check out Morgan & Morgan. Their fee is free unless they win. You can start your claim by clicking the link below or scanning the QR code on screen. What do you think the scroll revealed? A leader's name? A prophecy? Let us know in the comments before we reveal the leading theory. Remember, this isn't just academic curiosity. The Dead Sea Scrolls contain the oldest biblical manuscripts ever found, predating other copies by a thousand years. Any new text could reshape our understanding of Judaism and early Christianity's roots. But there's more to this story than just a name. Sources close to the project hint the decoded text contains unique calendrical formulas that could transform biblical chronology. The Qumran community followed a 364-day solar calendar, different from the lunar calendar used in Jerusalem. This scroll reportedly contains specific festival dates and solstice transitions described with the term Tekufa. Why does this matter? Because these timing differences could shift our understanding of when critical events in New Testament chronology occurred, potentially reframing the historical context of early Christianity. Adding weight to the AI's decipherment, archaeologists recently found an ostracon, a pottery shard with writing, containing the same cipher letters near Qumran. This independent find strengthens GPT-5's translation by confirming the symbol patterns were consistently used. Perhaps most intriguing of all, GPT-5 detected what appears to be a secondary encoding layer. The first letters of consecutive lines may form acrostics, spelling out additional messages hidden within the already coded text. It's like finding a locked diary inside a locked chest, explained one researcher. The cipher was just the outer layer of protection. These multi-layered secrets suggest the information was extraordinarily sensitive to the scroll's authors, perhaps containing predictions, political commentary, or theological ideas considered dangerous in their time. 
But what if this isn't just about the past? What if GPT-5 has unlocked a tool that could crack mysteries all around the world? We're not just talking about dusty parchment. We're talking about technology that can unearth entire civilization's secrets, from India's vanished script to the still mysterious codes of the Mayans. This is bigger than one scroll. The implications stretch from ancient Jerusalem to our own digital future, a future where AI doesn't just process information, but recovers knowledge we thought was lost forever. Wider fallout and future. The GPT-5 breakthrough has sparked a global initiative that could transform archaeology forever. Museums worldwide are now considering similar AI analysis for their unsolved inscriptions. The British Museum has already expressed interest in applying this technology to the mysterious Phaistos disk from Crete. The Louvre is exploring AI analysis of untranslated Etruscan texts. And in India, researchers hope similar methods might finally decode the 4,000-year-old Indus Valley script. For ordinary people, this means new historical clarity about the roots of major world religions. The Dead Sea Scrolls already attract thousands of visitors to museums in Jerusalem and worldwide. New discoveries could fuel religious tourism and archaeological funding. Think about what this means. Texts that have remained silent for thousands of years suddenly speaking to us again. Consider the famous Copper Scroll, another Dead Sea artifact that lists 64 locations of buried temple treasure in talents of gold and silver. Despite numerous expeditions, none of these treasures have been found. Could GPT-5 or its successors refine these location descriptions? Might it detect hidden ciphers within the Copper Scroll text that humans have missed for 70 years? We're witnessing the start of a domino effect of lost knowledge resurfacing. Machine intelligence is beginning to illuminate humanity's darkest historical corners. The success with this Dead Sea Scroll proves that I can be a legitimate partner in historical research, says Dr. Imladen Popovich, director of the Qumran Institute. It's like having a time machine that brings ancient voices back to life. This technology doesn't make human scholars obsolete. It gives them superpowers. Tedious tasks like trying hundreds of cipher combinations can be handled by AI, freeing researchers to focus on interpretation and meaning. What other voices from the distant past might soon speak again? What forgotten wisdom awaits rediscovery? The silence of historians is ending. The conversation between past and present grows stronger, bridged by silicon and guided by scholarship. Now that we've covered the breakthrough, let's step back and understand what these scrolls actually are. The Dead Sea Scrolls were discovered between 1947 and 1956 in 11 caves near the ruins of Qumran on the Dead Sea's northwestern shore. The first scrolls were found by a Bedouin shepherd named Muhammad ed Thib, who was searching for a lost goat. In total, archaeologists recovered nearly 1,000 ancient manuscripts dating from the 3rd century B.C.E. through the 1st century C.E.S. These include the oldest known biblical texts, predating other copies by a millennium. Most scholars believe the scrolls belong to a Jewish sect called the Essanes, who lived in isolation at Qumran. They withdrew from mainstream temple worship in Jerusalem, considering it corrupt. While most scrolls were written in standard Hebrew, Aramaic, or Greek, a handful used strange symbols instead of normal letters. These weren't unknown languages, but Hebrew written in code. The first breakthrough came in the 1950s when Polish scholar Joseph T. Milik cracked cryptic A, the main code alphabet used in several scrolls, by comparing coded fragments with copies of known texts. He identified which symbol represented which Hebrew letter. More recently, in 2018, Dr. Eshbal Ratson and Professor Jonathan Bendov spent a year piecing together 62 tiny fragments of another coded scroll. Their painstaking work revealed it contained a 364-day ceremonial calendar used by the Qumran community. Think of it like this. Imagine your kid's secret code where every letter A is replaced with a star and every B with a triangle. That's what these sects were doing. Only their symbols were borrowed from older scripts and then written on fragile parchment hidden in caves. Why use such codes? Not necessarily to hide dangerous secrets. Scholars believe these cryptic scripts functioned more to signal esoteric knowledge and prestige among the initiated. 
Writing in code demonstrated the author's elite status. They knew the special alphabet. By 2018, only one major coded text remained undeciphered. The very scroll GPT-5 tackled in 2025. GPT-5 has accomplished what generations of human scholars couldn't. In minutes, it cracked a code that had resisted decipherment for seven decades. The decoded scroll may identify a key figure in Jewish religious history, potentially linking the isolated Qumran community to mainstream events of the Second Temple period. This connection could reshape our understanding of biblical history and early religious developments. But the ripple effects extend far beyond these desert caves. The same AI techniques could soon unlock other ancient mysteries worldwide, from Rongorongo script to Etruscan inscriptions. For archaeologists, this marks a new era where machine intelligence amplifies human expertise. For historians, it opens doors to knowledge previously thought lost forever. For all of us, it means a richer understanding of our shared human story. For centuries, these words were silent. Now, a machine has given them back their voice, and that voice may reshape how we see history. The quiet caves of Qumran still have secrets to tell, and now we have new ears to listen, silicon ones that can hear whispers from two millennia ago. If you want to follow what GPT-5 might crack next, subscribe. The next great discovery could be one notification away.